this is so hilarious. It was bound to happen. Uh, I accidentally turned off the record uh, when I was unboxing this beautiful blue traveler's notebook. But I guess this is where I'm gonna begin. Hello, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. I have this beautiful traveler's notebook in the standard size in the blue color. And I was briefly mentioning that um, this is my first. This is the first traveler's notebook that I bought. And I did my set my setup video about a year ago. And since then, I have really loved this traveler's notebook. Uh, it's not yet developed that really shiny, like uh, patinaed sheen. Um, I know that'll happen over time, but it has definitely become much softer, more pliable, and uh, I've really enjoyed it. And after a year of traveling with my traveler's notebook, I decided to get a second one. And the second one here, I just thought would be a lovely accompaniment to my camel colored traveler's notebook. And my first impression is that this leather is definitely stiffer and it has more of like a refined finish. I don't have um, a black traveler's notebook, but I imagine that it's going to have a similar finish based on other videos that I've watched. And I love this color. It's um, almost like a an indigo black and I don't know, I just I just really love it. And I think just next to my Camel Color Traveler's Notebook, the, these two look really beautiful together. Uh, so this is more of a refined, stiffer leather. And then this is more of like your rugged, uh, rugged and uh, less treated or less finished leather. And so right off the bat, my impression as to how I'm going to use these two journals is that this one, because it feels more rugged, it's ready for an adventure. Um, this will probably be uh, kept as my traveling journaler's notebook or my traveling TN. And then this one is going to be more for memory keeping. I might use this more for um, professional settings. Who knows? but that's my first impression right now. So as I open the box, before I open the box, it came in this cotton bag and it came, well, the package came with this elastic as the enclosure, as the thing to keep the box together. So this is an extra elastic for me to use when this wears out. Um, and also this was enclosed in this little Ziploc, this little past plastics, plastic bag here and I love this color combination so what I'll probably do is switch this out right now okay so today is like your quintessential Seattle autumn day it's been drizzling all day I walked our dog this morning and for the first time I put on her little red rain jacket And uh, in walking outside with Juniper, our dog, uh, I, it was just so relaxing to hear the rain pitter-patter. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Really, I mean, either color will look beautiful with this blue. Okay, so quick measurements here. This is about, this is definitely a solid eight and three quarter inches by four and three quarters. Uh, using the metric system, it's about 12, what is it? 12 centimeters by 22, 12 by 22. So the insert or the the notebook comes with this insert. I believe this is MD paper in white, um, but I have some of my own inserts. This one I got from 
uh, from VA. She was my ink swap friend. Uh, she was my ink swap friend from Simona's or Simone's um, ink swap 2022. And so in her package of inks to me, she also included some traveler's notebook inserts. And these are handmade by her. I believe this is the Fool's OK Fool's paper. She gave me one in white and also in cream, and this is the white one. So I'm going to use this one and put it in here. And then, um, then I also have this craft paper insert. I have the Traveler's Notebook 008 zipper case, three pockets. So it's three pockets, zipper case. And then I also have this craft paper folder and then I also have this uh, 032 accordion fold paper. I don't know how I'm going to use this, but it looks like it would be fun for memory keeping. So we shall see. Um, it says that the paper itself is thick, used for watercolor painting, making it perfect for getting creative. You can draw, make a collage, arrange photos, tickets or labels, or use the folded out paper to write your travel itinerary, plans for the year, or ideas. So it's got 13 accordion pages. It would be a great idea even just to do like a monthly sort of future log or plans or goals for each month of the year. That's cool. And then I have some of these stickers. Craft folder has two pockets, little sleeves, little slits here for cards. is a plastic zipper case and it's got it says it has three pockets and it does one here another here and then it's got this zipper here so I think what I'm going to do is take this one out Remove the bookmark. Okay, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to put this in. I wonder if I should have the zipper up front. Probably put it in the back. It's so funny. I feel well, so much more versed <laughs> with setting up my traveler's notebook after having tinkered with my camel um, with this one for an entire year. Uh, I'm, I'm having flashbacks of the time when I set that first traveler's notebook up and not having any clue as to how to set it up. Uh, so I was watching a YouTube video by Maurice Moves and he talks about um, you know encouraging everybody to get this sort of zipper case or at least a craft file folder or craft folder and the reason why he says that you should is first of all you want to have make sure that it is closest most adjacent to this elastic because when you've got your notebook in here and when you've written in you know when you're finishing it and you've got a few more pages you you will definitely bump up against that elastic this knot right here so he says that if you have this uh, zipper case or you've got something thick like something like this instead um, as a barrier between your paper and the elastic, then you'll have a more enjoyable writing pro a writing experience, especially as you finish out the last few pages of your journal. And I think that was a really great idea. Okay. Do that. Let's open up this accordion fold paper. Ooh, it is very nice, thick paper. Oh, it would be great for watercolor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen pages. Oh, this is great. Let's see. Oh, 
I'm not sure how I'm going to use this, but I already think about um, a month for each page. This could be a fun memory keeping activity where I will write down highlights or draw whatever collage highlights from each month so that by the end of 2024, yeah, I'll just have this accordion notebook all done and then be able to archive it. Very cool. work probably Actually, let's change it for a second okay instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off I'm actually going to put this accordion file put this accordion notebook right down the middle and then I'm going to connect these two to each other these pairs I think it'll work. I'm going to stick it behind this accordion file. Let's see. There we go. Okay. I'm kind of undecided if I want to keep this mustard yellow, this gold elastic. Hmm, this looks really nice too. Okay, I think I'm just gonna keep it like this for now. I want more of a subdued look. Okay. Oh, this is wonderful. So as I think things through, as I think things through, I do think this is going to be like my memory keeping creative journal. Um, so here is the final flip through. So it's my craft folder followed by this handmade insert by VA. This is the accordion paper insert. Oh, be careful that I don't hold it up too close to this candle. <laughs> followed by this zipper pouch. One, two, two pockets here this craft folder or craft paper insert, and then finished off with the zipper case. There we go. Well, I am so excited to see how um, this journal is going to evolve over time. And um, thanks so much for watching this setting up. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.